I used to work at Target back in the day. And um, they let people steal for a very long time before they actually hammer down. They'll let you come in there. And I think once you get to like $2,000 or something, they will um, send you, you know, to jail. They'll call the cops on you. Um, he, you know, he's correct. He did these things and everybody's doing it. But you have to be so bold to just freely do it. I'm just asking myself, like, do you have to be corrupt to be in politics? Because it just seems like where are the good black mayors that, you know, get pressed? Because it seems like the, the, the women and the men now, before it was just the women that I see, like, getting caught, the women in Atlanta, the mayors, they're doing a lot of crazy things. Um, on top of the corrupt behind-the-door things. So, um, yeah, it's 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 sad. It's almost like Hollywood too. At at one point, I wanted to be a singer, but I realized that the higher you up, you go. And years later, the same thing. What I thought weird, was yeah. true. It's it like you weird. might as well give it up because you you're it's going to weird. be corrupt. You're it's, it's it's that's just how it go. Same thing with power and politics. That's all I have to say. That's valid, Shan. So go ahead. It's it's on you. Then we're gonna cut to um, Marcus. <clears throat> well, I'm glad. Sorry, y'all. Let me clear. My- <laughs> laryngitis all the time like every like three year three days out of the i mean three times out of the year is your it's that's that mono acting up bitch i ain't got no mono whoa <laughs> whoa, I, that whoa, whoa, out. whoa whoa what did you say that was a term of endearment <laughs> i love you but listen i think that I, you know i think that we, we see people do anything for money right I think it's just, I think that people go in not wanting to be corrupt and then that money just flash in their face and you ain't never had it before. And you like, you know, dang, first class, 10,000. I don't know. You know, (laughs) (laughs) at first, at first when you were saying it, so it put more context to it with the second video. At first you would say, I was thinking like, oh, I just can't get the upgrade because I'm fabulous. You know, like, oh, they just like me. I get an upgrade. But then when you're saying it came from the same donor, then it's like, okay, now we're um, talking, meaning there's a deal going on behind the scenes that will make it definitely illegal. Not that you just showed them like, oh, out of respect, it's the mayor. We're going to put him in first class. It's not that situation. Um, So that second video kind of, you know, put things in perspective. It was like a, a, you know, so... I mean, it's unfortunate. It's Nasty. Really unfortunate. Die, how are we how are we feeling over there? What are you thinking about this? Are you tired of the corruption? Or is this expected? I'm scared for the black community and just all the ignorance that be going on behind the scenes, like about how things are really ran. Uh, I agree that um, I I really wanted to. Like, I'm nervous doing a podcast, right? Because I've noticed that sometimes my opinion, it, it well, when I help people, it provides a certain type of healing. And I'm like, I don't want to be killed for doing too much, you know? You don't want to get too high because you might get caught up in some stuff, you know? It's just, you just don't want to, when you when you know you have a power to influence and change, it's scared being up there. But I do agree that there's people up there with him doing worse things with their money that they have the ability to catch and have the ability to put behind bars, but they target people for certain reasons. The same people targeting him are the same people committing crimes as well. So it's scary to see what's on the agenda or what's coming next because we see all this movement. I just hope whatever comes next, because like, like, like they said, catch them and put them all up. You go, know I'm saying. But when you start catching people for an agenda then that may really makes me worry because it's like, well, what agenda was these people standing for? And was they standing for an agenda that would have helped us? You know, it's like, why are you taking these people down? And what's their agenda? And what aren't they agreeing with? Or what aren't they in compliance with? Like, I, I just hope it has nothing. I hope it's nothing that's going to affect me and my family, you know, long term. And hopefully it's for the betterment of the U.S genuinely but we know how the u.s is we can hope hey you dad know. who who who, who are you voting a, for my, i am voting i listen to both sides with an unbiased opinion and so far i'm sorry um 
I'm voting for the smarter villain. I, I, I think I probably should vote for the dumber villain because it's like you can read right through him. But the smarter villains, they like, I don't know. They make I feel like I feel like I feel like what, it might be a punk make, right what now. Makes, you know what I'm saying? Like, are they what makes her smart? Like, oh Lord, you finna get it started. <laughs> what? Nah, I, like, I, 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 say smart. Let's not let's not go off on a deep end. Y'all talk. Y'all can wait, touch wait, on wait, the cause, okay, but don't um. Listen, let's not one let's sad, not go one hard. When I listen to one side, one side brings facts, and when I hear the other side talking about the Democrat side, like for instance, they always talk about um, what's the black lady name um. It's on the tip of my tongue. But they talk about her delivery all the time, right? Because she she delivers with a hood accent. She delivers with, like, the way I talk. And she gets sassy with them. And she she responds back to these politicians mm -hmm. where at some point in her life she has to sit there and play the pageant role to get her position. And she has to do this. And now that she has a chance to speak and bring a little bit of, like, they, they discredit her. But it's not, you're not discrediting her with facts. You're discrediting her based on who she is as a person. And I don't like when people do that to Trump, you know? Know, Trump is a really good businessman. You know, as far as politician, I'm not sure about. But then they say, oh, well, she doesn't have a plan. But I've seen a little bit of what she had. But like they said, Trump been coming up with a plan for how many years? He kept saying, we got this insurance. We got this. So when I look at both sides, it's like, yeah, but that could also be media. You know, they know what they show on their Democrats. And they know what they show on the Republicans. They purposely showing two two sides, the lesser, you know, they showing the Republicans the Democrats acting the fool, Kamala not claim, you know, using black, uh, blackness uh, as a reason to get her votes up and things of that nature. I'm seeing both sides. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at both sides, it's just, it seems like the point that the Democrats make, I kind of care about their that. points more. The, so the blackness is the only thing that you see? No, I'm just saying that's the only thing I hear that they use against her. And then he just, uh, I was listening to what he said when he said that she sold her house for the four million and things of that nature. Like, yeah. Well, Shannon, like you got I a point? So, so with the housing, I think everybody does that. That's why when people buy mansions, rappers, whoever, it's because, oh, this was so-and-so's house. Okay. But um, when it comes to, my, my question is, so which city is he the mayor of? New York City. The most important city in the nation. And so I would agree. So my question is, why is he riding coach and he's the mayor of New York City? Like, why would he even need an upgrade? He is like over the city. Like, he's literally the president of his city. And he and he's like a major city. Why is he well, no, that was, that's in because coach in the first place? But that's not the he, world. That's because he's flying out of the country. Oh, uh, so when he's flying domestic. He's yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's de definitely different when he's flying domestic, but a, okay. a flight from New York to Turkey, that first class, that's easily like a ten, eleven thousand dollar ticket. Well, for right. one. Yeah, they they said it was a twelve thousand dollar upgrade on top of whatever his um fee already was. Right, yeah. but I just look at I look at, and I know it's tax dollars and everything, but if you're the leader you know um of anything that's a lot of pressure i just feel like you should be paid accordingly but i guess they, they got it be paid like teachers <laughs> <my respect. laughs> no they they know they, for the fly first class to to turkey and spending twelve thousand on on a one-way ticket darwin i don't think we had an opportunity to hear what you got about this i mean only, i mean i i understand that politicians or whatever they're gonna do they're going to do their dirt, and some going to get caught, some ain't. It just hurts me to see, you know, when I look up and I see a black person doing it. I mean, I, I just, I guess I just got high hopes and high expectations for black people whenever they get into these positions. Because um, I'm, I'm not young or too old, but I do remember there some occasions where, you know, black people would struggle to be, like the first mayor or the first person in Congress or some shit like that, just to see them get in there and then not, you know, wear that accomplishment, you know, as a way to dictate the choices they make. It just kind of disappoints me. And I know that I got the the wrong expectations for them because once money is thrown in, it don't matter what color your skin is, you could be swayed. But I, I just thought that we as a, a people had this kind of superpower, like that 
I, no matter what you throw at me, I know I, I got my people riding on my back. I'm not going to fuck up. But <laughs> then it the just, they watching. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like, damn, I guess not. I guess that don't even really fucking matter. So then it just kind of make me feel like, man, I just, I just got to stick to my own. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they say we are people. They say black, like we all connected in some way. But then all our decisions and choices that are made just show that we're not really so connected. It's really individualistic at some points. And it, and it's at the points that really matter. So, Marcus, what, uh, what were you thinking? Uh, I was going to say about the foreign, I lost my train of thought, but uh, they, they really hitting him over the head with the uh, foreign, like accepting money from a foreign government. Yeah, yeah, I see that. So, APEC should have to register as a foreign government institution. They primarily operate for the nation state. I don't know. Can we get into that without it being flagged? You let's know what not I'm chance about? it. Oh, yeah, let's not chance it. Or if you're going to just, you know, be extremely careful as to how you articulate it. If you need some time, that's fine. I could kind of hold it down for a second. So, 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 okay. Go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So, for for people that's not aware, in order for you to um have a, another country do business with the United States, they have to reg when they interact with politicians, they have to register money that they donate to campaigns through a foreign entity, so that they don't have any sway on how the politicians vote, move, or operate that can negatively affect another country or benefit their country in a way that's unfair in a political election season. We have a group that technically is only concerned with what's going on in the Middle East currently. And they have the largest super PAC that has gotten two co two candidates out of office, all out of the Senate. Um, they both back both sides of the presidential campaign and they don't have to register as a foreign entity because when i believe it was when they were when they were slated to have to register the president that slated ended up getting shot the next day so there's that yeah i, I think it's weird to be to be honest uh, i'm not gonna say it too long because we got one more topic we're gonna run through so i what i feel like is um you caught a politician politicking like this isn't common practice like this is this is how you survive as a politician and i think everybody already knew what was going on the timing to me is weird this election year coming in right months before this uh major election i, I don't know what what the meaning of it is i don't know if it's bro himself just trying to get a name for himself right now or uh if it's bigger than that it could be some somebody behind it really just trying to shut something down uh, we don't know. It it could be it, it, what I the only thing I do really feel like is that it's orchestrated. The timing of this is deliberate, and because they could they could pull a trigger and and knock anybody out. Any of these politicians, they all corrupt, and you can make your pick. They all playing with that money. That's how they learn. Like it's, it's like how the hell is Nancy Pelosi still getting her stock joints off? How is that even possible? You telling me that's not worse when you talking about millions of dollars? that are getting ripped from people and legislation is getting thrown a certain way because people wanted to benefit their pocket directly and they were allowed to trade in it. But then y'all want to go ahead and get homeboy for some airline ticket upgrades. I mean, I, okay, that's wrong. Go ahead and bag home me for it. But if you're going to do that, then take everybody down who's, who's doing these nefarious things with money. That's my opinion on it. I think, I think it's trash. I think that I think there's, that something there's something bigger than that behind it. Go ahead, didn't, he Diddy, didn't he get Diddy the keys to New York? The year La before. Yeah, last year. Yeah, there's some so, significance to the timing. It's weird, right? They just gave him, it was about a year ago, he got the key to the city. Correct. <laughs> Correct. That's why I say the time is suspicious. And and the same guy mentioned that in the, uh, indictment. In the indictment. He said, he said that in the indictment, the same guy. 